Greetings people, nerds, aliens, robots and what have you out there. I want to show you guys how you can change your mirror list or your software repositories under OpenSUSE and this is Trouble Bee that I'm running right now. Theoretically, it should not be necessary because it's uh, under the install and, and all of that shit, it, it should find the fastest mirror for you anyway. But, you all know that that is BS. It really don't really work that way. It's really, really slow for people in the states and the oceanics and stuff like that so let's look at the easiest way to do it you can go in and mess with configuration files but hey i'm a lazy motherfucker i guess we all are lazy motherfuckers so i'm doing it the easiest way we can go in here to software repositories under the good old yes tool and it will basically show you all of the repositories that you have enable you can also add a new repository by going here and use specific url and stuff like that the way that I have done it in the past, instead of just adding a new specific uh, URL or go down to edit a HTTP site or local directory and stuff like that, is that I basically just find, let's say, Tumbleweed main repositories here. And I click edit. And I basically just, you know, put in the URL in here and then click OK and then it refreshes. So how do you get the URL? Well. OpenSUSE actually have a, a site called openSUSE.org. And then you just find a, a mirror closest to you that you like. But you have to re you have to look at here what distributions it support. So I want one that support if I wanted to change it, I want one that support Tumbleweed. So Tumbleweed repo, if you want the debug repo, you that's not in here in any of them. The source repo is don't seem to be in any of them. But let's say you're running 5.3. And we have like here the repo, we have the debug, source and updates for 5.3. And some of them can even have ports. So let, let, let's find the repo that has everything from 15.3, 15, .3, 15 uh, like the repo, debug and sources. And we have one here from Switzerland. Switzerland. Switch? Switzerland? Switzerland? Is that the word? So you basically just go in here and I, I want the HTTP. And you go in here and you can see here what we have here. So we have repositories, OpenSUSE. Uh, that's factory. That's not the one I want. Where is it? Distribution... OpenSUSE. Oh. Here it is. And then... Applications. Let, let's find the Tumbleweed version here. Belarus, HTTP, Tumbleweed, Tumbleweed, Repo, and then we have the repos in here, so I want the non-OS, or non-open source, and it is in here, so technically, technically, and again, this may work or may not work, but technically, I should just be able to do edit, and then pass this URL in here. I hope this makes sense. It's a little bit like, oh, you have to find the, you know, the exact repo yourself. But technically, I should just be able to download this, put it in here. We can actually try it out. So if I do copy, paste it in here, click OK. Okay, so it is refreshing from um, from that repository. So now you can see I'm getting my non open source software main repo from Belarus basically under open source and you can then then let's say you want the open source version of it and you are in the good old Belarus you go down to this here open source so copy this in here put it into this report uh, URL line here and you should get the repository from that way. It is a little bit not complicated, but you have to click a lot of times. It is easier than go in and, and, and copy paste uh, and, and, and find a um, uh, configuration file and stuff like that. And it is the preferred way that they want you to do these things is using the YAS tool. What if you don't have a UI? Well, sudo YAS tool. You can go in here, you can go down to repositories, and I don't know if it can read it because I already have Yastone, but you can go in here and you can change the, the source list. Yeah, software, it's locked because I'm in here using it here, that's why it took so long. Go to this site here. Oh, I need to go all the way back. 
mirrors.opensuser.org, link down below. Find the repository closest to you. Make sure it has the repos that you have and then click on to the site and then find where the repos is located. So again, uh, tumbleweed, repos, and then open source, non-open source. They even have the debug repo in here. And then you basically just copy paste this into the uh, repository link. That should basically do it for you. It is a little bit playing Sherlock Holmes and go and, and hunt down the repos or go in and click them. And you can do it via a text file if you really, really want to, but I recommend you use the yes tool. If you are an open SUSE user or a SUSE user, get familiar with the yes tool because it, it, it makes your life easier. It may not be the fastest way of doing it sometimes, but it, it's convenient, it's easier to get your head around. And it also takes out a lot of places where you could do mistakes, like commenting out something by mistake and stuff like that. The way that we are doing it here by using the YAS tool, the biggest mistake that you can do is change these up here or put in a wrong URL, you know, put an extra comma in there, forward slash or an extra T or an extra D or something like that. If you go into a configuration file, you could delete something by mistake, you can commenting out something. You know, there's a lot of variables that can go wrong. So I really, really recommend that you get familiar with the YAS tools. Because they actually help you not fucking things up. And for people like me, that that they're like, ooh, what's that thing there? I don't need that. And I'm commenting it out and my whole system goes up in smoke. And unicorns and rainbows and penguins are running after me, yelling at me for being an idiot. But yeah, use this site. Go and change the, uh, the, the repo list in the YAS tool. If you want to do it in the command line, Google how to change repos in OpenSUSE config file or something to that nature. Change mirror list, OpenSUSE config file. Or, or uh, change mirror list, OpenSUSE zipper config file. It will show you how to do it. Just like uh, with the Debian will go into app source lists. Because Debian don't have these neat tools there. You have when you're an SUSE user, so why not use them? And you also have them in form of the command line with, with the YAS tool. Utilize the tools that they provide you. They are there for a reason. See you all later. Bye bye.